Big submergence vessel limiting factor. This is the International Space Station. How do you read over? ISS, this is DSSV pressure drop. Kathy Sullivan on, on this end. We read you loud and clear. Well, hello, Kathy. This is uh, Chris Cassidy, Bob Bacon, and Doug Hurley on the International Space Station. Wonderful to, to uh, hear you and connect uh, from space to the surface. Over. Oh, Roger, it's uh, great to connect with you. Uh, Victor Vescovo, the pilot of Luminic Factor, and I uh, are back on the surface ship at this point. Looked a little more like the moonscape than anything I've seen on this planet so far. So we spent about an uh, hour and a half on the bottom, rendezvoused with one of our autonomous landers. Kathy is the first uh, astronaut to go down to the bottom of the ocean, so the we're very woman. proud of her, and the first woman. So uh, we're very proud of her. That's outstanding, Kathy. Congratulations. What a great accomplishment. And uh, how many uh, submergence vehicles exist in the fleet? Is it just just one, the limiting factor, or are there several that, that you can operate? No, there's only one in the whole world that can go down to full ocean depth, and that's what we were just in for 10 hours. And this was Victor's third time to the Challenger Deep. Uh, I think I became the eighth human being and, and first woman. Uh, and it's, you know, the, I, I like in this, uh, as other writers have done, the limiting factor which Victor designed with Triton submarines. Uh, it's like having a craft that can make daily trips to the moon, uh, considering how exotic and impossible it has been in all of history up until now to get to the Challenger Deep. Yeah, like uh, your uh, ride, Doug and Bob, the uh, SpaceX vehicle, it was designed to be reusable, so it is the only craft that's been down to the Challenger Deep more than once. It's been down actually four times now. So congratulations on your incredible journey on the on the Dragon. Well, thank you for that, uh, Victor. Doug and I are really excited for our mission as a first, but uh, the chance to have the vehicle reused three, four, and multiple times is uh, an outstanding accomplishment, one that uh, the SpaceX team hopes to accomplish as well. Yeah, well, definitely tell your boss if he gives me a ride in his, I'll give him a ride in mine. <laughs> Yeah, just like uh, you alluded to, it's above our pay grade who gets a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Roger that. Over. Congratulations on your scientific accomplishments uh, uh, in the deep underwater as we're trying to accomplish the same on the International Space Station. Doug and I were able to arrive up here and add, uh, I guess, maybe two working helping hands between the two of us to Chris's helping hands to keep Space Station operating, both to accomplish science but also to support us on board. Uh, really appreciate you guys making the time from what I know are super busy days to make this connection. Uh, to, I know it means a lot to both Victor and me to do the two innovative craft doing very novel things in very creative ways from the bottom of the sea to the outer reaches of space. So thanks so much. Great to chat with you guys. Over. Well, Kathy and Victor, congratulations again, and thank you for uh, initiating to have a conversation. It was uh, exciting for us. Chris, Doug, and I, I'll uh, wish you uh, fair seas and uh, a safe trip home. Thank you, and, and likewise, happy stay up with ISS and safe travels back to Earth whenever you guys make your way back. Absolutely, Kathy. Maybe someday we can uh, meet and talk about it someplace in the middle of the deep sea or the International Space Station North Orbit. That's the deal. I'll buy the first beer, you buy the second. Over. That's the deal. All right. Thank you, guys. Pressure drop out. ISS out. All right. Well done. Well that was done. Cool. That was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad first day of diving. Not a bad first day of diving. <laughs>